The territory gold in New World is changing in an important way. Not necessarily in a massive way, not in a way where they're reworking the entire system or anything like that, something which I do think needs to happen but we're not talking about that here, but I still think most people who own territories or are involved in that will want to know this change. For those of you who don't, well they've put how we're going to get the extra gear set storage on the PTR so we'll have a quick look at that as well. So this patch note was added today and whilst you could technically see it on the PTR it's very difficult for me to get any footage of that but we'll have a quick look at the end. Basically what does this mean? It's a little bit wordy but I've gone through it and I can now explain it in a term that I think we'll actually be able to understand. So the territory upkeep has been reduced across all of the territories and equalized across all town levels. What that means is that no matter what rating your town is you're going to be paying the same amount. The only thing that will change is the percentage that that town gets if you're at the lower levels. However it has been drastically reduced. I think it's been reduced to the numbers of below but if that's so that's massively reduced. To put it in some kind of context the 5% town would have paid 95,000 gold but one of the 5% towns now will actually only pay 1,000 gold. That's a crazy difference right? Now you might be thinking isn't this just giving more gold to the companies and the answer is not quite. To maintain the territory revenue economy we have increased the existing territory revenue sink meaning an additional percentage of coin that would otherwise have earned through taxes is now not added to the revenue pool. So basically there's more gold just going to be lost from the economy or more percentage I should say. So the idea being there is that you're going to spend less to upkeep your town but instead of you just getting that gold for free what they're going to do is also take off the amount of gold that you get and it'll all sort of be in line. Now this actually seems to be done to help with the smaller towns on lower populated servers and it does mean that if you're on a big server like Barry in EU and you own Windswood or Everfall the amount of gold that you're going to get might actually be going down. So they say here, the result is lower population worlds will now have a near guaranteed income for owning territories. Now they say near guaranteed because if there's literally nobody on the server and then they don't even make over a thousand gold, technically you would lose out, right? But the risk will be small and it's very likely that you will make some gold, even on a very low populated server. While larger population worlds will see a decrease in their total revenue earned. And that's because it's a percentage base, right? So on a larger populated server, what's going to happen? Let's say you earn two million in gold in Windswood. Let's say a hundred thousand of that was removed because of the upkeep that left you with 1.9 million. Well now what's going to happen is only two and a half thousand gold is going to be removed from that two million. However it's not actually now going to be two million because the percentage that is actually getting put into that pocket into that pool is going to be lower. So instead of it being 1.9 million it might actually drop to maybe like 1.8 million, 1.7 without actually knowing the exact percentage that they're putting in the tax there's no way I could actually do the maths if that makes sense. So one of the changes there is that no matter what level your tone and by that I mean how many upgrades it has so if it's fully kitted out with tier 5's everything then I think it's level 39 and if you had zero then it's either level zero or one I'm not sure what they count from and what they're saying is the amount that you pay at any of those tiers is the exact same. It used to actually change so you can see here that basically depending on the town level was how much upkeep you paid that's no longer the case so when they say equalized that's basically what they mean and you can see here a five percent town will now be paying just 1000 gold where Everfall, Windows and Brightwood will be just paying two and a half thousand gold. It sounds crazy because they were literally paying about 200,000, right? Massive, massive difference. However, that doesn't mean they're necessarily going to make more money because more percentage is getting absolutely just gold synced away. I mean, technically they were both gold sinks, but no, it's gold sync as a percentage rather than a fixed cost. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well. It's probably a little bit tricky. It took me a while to understand it, but there you have it. So I just jumped onto the PTR and we can see what they said in that blog in person right so if I go over to the uh, the desk here and I look you can see that the overdue amount is only 2.5 thousand gold really not very much at all but as I said don't let that fool you into thinking they're actually going to make money they're possibly going to lose money on a populated server but gain money on a low populated server if that makes sense. It's very important though I think the people on the most popular server might see a decrease in their gold and not really know why. Well, this change that they added today on the PTR, that's why. Okay, and the last thing that I want to show you here, as this guy's shooting me with the, the, um, the fire staff, I just want to show you on the season pass. If I go all the way to the end, you can see they have now added on the end ones, but you'll notice that for the free track, they are now saying special additional gear set slot. So basically, you will get a free gear slot, However, you are going to have to get to level 100. That's going to be super important. A lot of people are going to want that. Obviously, it's free. I mean, I'm a little bit curious if you can just buy it instead of just getting the free one. Are they going to like cap out the amount of gear sets? And it really doesn't matter how you get them. 
maybe maybe not we'll have to wait and see right and then for the premium one i mean there's nothing as interesting though it's just some like a jewelry and stuff like that some weapons it's basically just a loot box but it's interesting to see that on the free one because i was wondering when where that would be on the list and now they put it at 100 okay fair enough so that's it it's like a real simple change but it's very important i think for all the people who are doing wars and are in that territory control system and there was quite a lot of people doing wars you will be very interested in this i think however it's probably going to fly under the radar for most people so i thought i'd make a video on it if you want to support the channel becoming a youtube member or patreon is truly the best way i am streaming a lot more on twitch I mean, I don't know when I'm going to be streaming, but I'm probably going to stream a lot this weekend. So come and follow me over on Twitch. Things can get a little bit wild and fun. I have a good time and I hope the people watching also have a good time. What I hope you definitely do, though, is have a most beautiful, beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.